The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rose coming to you live from the shores of, well, mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update, and currently we have all the U.S. equity futures trading to the upside. You've got the Dow up a little over 1%, 368 points. The NASDAQ up over 2%, 319 points. The ES Mini, 1.5%, 67 points. The Russell is up 30. That's 1.5% as well. Over in Asia last night, a bit of a mixed bag. You had the Shanghai and the Hang Seng close higher. The Nikkei was lower. Uh, you have uh, over in a uh, Europe this morning, the Dow. Uh, Tax is up 2.5%. The FTSE is up one, nearly 2% as well. 389 and 137 points, respectively. Gold's back $9. Silver is flat. Platinum's up 26 bucks, trading out at 10,000, 10,000, 1,053 buckaroonies. 30 year Treasury is flat. She's trading at 155.07. So let's do this here. I'm going to switch and uh, just go take a look at the ES mini uh, charts out here. See what they're really communicating to you and I. If you look in the upper left hand corner, you've got the monthly time frame. The monthly time frame shows a TD9 count top. I'm sure there is a sell the D point top as well. And if on Monday, it's only Wednesday, if Monday we see a close below 45.37, the signal here is over time that price may bull, pull back and test the 37.20 level. In the case of the ES Mini for its weekly time frame, it has a confirmed Rosemont indicator top. Uh, price made its way back, but didn't get all the way back to its breakout level of 41.26. Right now it shows a hammer candle. Let's see what that looks like on Friday. On a daily time frame, the ES Mini has a confirmed by the D point. That was generated with this bullish hammer candle. Uh, two days ago. Right now, you're showing a bull sash candle. That would be a third confirmation or second confirmation. More likely than not, if you look at the oscillator and change line, changes from green to red. It does this on the trading day of January 20th. So that was uh, two, four, five days ago or so, and the trading days. And uh, this suggests that price and that oscillator and change line, when it changes colors, should catch up to each other. Now, whether price can overtake it or not, that I don't know. But price should target that 4509 level. The 30 minute chart has a valid TD nine count top at this uh, point in time. If price is able to close above 441950, it'll negate that pattern. The level to really be watching, I believe, during the day is going to be 44.25. 44.25 is a TD9 count breakdown level on the 60-minute time frame chart. If price can close above that, that suggests we likely see a further rally. Rally to where I'm just going to have to leave as the open rally target, that red oscillator and change line on the 45.09 level. But folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming during the day. Tommy O'Brien with the morning market kickoff. He's up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday, folks. I'll see you tomorrow morning at about 8.06 sharp. Take care. We'll see you soon.